The Apostle Paul says this, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on until completion, until the day of Christ Jesus. Change is possible. God wants to change you. God can change you. And the Apostle Paul was in the life changing business. He got to see people's lives change in a dramatic fashion all of the time. And of course, his life was changed also in a dramatic fashion. He went from being one way to being transformed and making a difference in the lives of tons of people. And you too can be transformed. And just in this one little verse, the apostle gives us a few insights into change. And so maybe you want to jot these things down or just type them in on your phone or something. But there are some really good keys to change right here, even in this one little verse. Uh, first thing we got to understand is that change happens from the inside out. He who began a good work in you. Transformation, genuine change happens from the inside out. We've all wanted to change at some point in our lives, and when we've wanted to change, maybe we try to put some exterior things into place to help us to be transformed. You know, we went on a diet, but then all of a sudden we realized that our you know, compulsion to eat was greater than our desire to lose weight, and, and we kind of failed and gave in on that one. Uh, Maybe we wanted to stop looking at certain things on the computer, and so we put some external filters on that, and then we realized that our lust is a lot smarter than any filter that can be bought out there. We decided that we wanted uh, to stop drinking, and so um, we started to make some changes around that, and, and we gave up after a short period of time. And, and then we wanted to maybe stop swearing, and so we put a swear jar up, and that all went out the window once our kids became teenagers. <laughs> External things can only help you so much. Genuine life change, the kind of change that God wants to do in your life happens from the inside out. The Apostle Paul also tells us here that change happens over time. God will carry it on until completion, until that day when you're finally home with him. Transformation, genuine life change takes time. Uh, my son and I are kind of fans of the shows where they're remaking cars. You've probably seen of them. One of that's uh, really popular right now with us is Fast and Loud. We love to watch that thing. They buy these old beat-up cars, and, and then they kind of fix it up. And every once in a while, I think to myself, I could do that. I could totally do that. I'm going to go buy a car, and I'll get on the Craigslist, and I'll start looking for that diamond in the rough out there, which nobody else is looking for, by the way. I'm going to be the one that's going to find it. And then wisdom, a.k.a. my wife, uh, prevails and reminds me, <laughs> reminds me I don't have the time to do that. I don't have the tools to do that. I don't have the knowledge base to really do that. And... Oh, she's totally right, and it kind of reminds me a little bit about change. You know, sometimes you begin to go through a transformation process, and you realize really quickly that you don't know if you have the endurance to make it through, you don't know if you have the right tools, and you certainly don't have the skill set required to change. And this is the good thing that God wants to change us, and it's going to take time to change us. Transformation, real genuine transformation happens over the long haul, over the long haul. One question I get asked a lot as a pastor is, how come I continue to struggle with the same thing over and over again? I thought I was beyond this, and it kept coming back. Have you ever had that thought in your life? Have you ever had that? Sure, look around. You are in good company. Transformation takes time. Things that you have been developing and practicing all of your life take time to get rooted out. And God is transforming you over the long haul. So be patient. He is doing that. And really look up. If you are struggling today, look up to God and realize that he is not finished with you yet. But unlike you, he has the proper tools. Unlike you, he has the endurance to see it through. Unlike you, he knows exactly what it is going to take to transform you, and he will bring it to completion in the end. The third thing I see from the Apostle Paul here is that change is a partnership. Notice right there when we first started, he, he who began 
a good work. He will bring it until completion. He will carry it through. Transformation is a partnership. It's a partnership between you and God. There are only things that God can do, and there are certain things that he's asking you to do. And if we want to genuinely change, we need to partner with God in our lives to see transformation. That means we have to accept his help. We have to accept his help. Not too long ago, I got injured. I was, I'm a runner, and I was out running, and I got injured, and I needed to go to the doctor, and they took some x-rays, and they realized that I had broken my ankle, and they said, these are the things that you need to do. You need to wear this really cool and fashionable boot uh, for about six weeks, um, and then you need to go through extensive uh, rehab with a, with a qualified PT after that, and then you're going to slowly need to work back in it. Well, I thought I knew what was better. I thought in a couple weeks I'd be back at it and running in no time at all, and I had a choice to make. Will I accept the help that the doctor is giving me, or will I try to do it on my own? Thankfully, my friend who is a PT talked me into accepting the doctor's help, and I had to follow his instructions, his advice. And so, too, partnering with God means that you have to accept his help. When God says, this is the path of transformation, this is what you must do, this is where you must go, this is how you must get there, trust him. Partner with him. Believe that he knows what he is doing Accept his help. The good thing is he don't, doesn't only just give you help, but he gives you power. He gives you power to walk through the changes that you need to go through. He'll remove obstacles. He'll strengthen you. He'll clear the path in front of you. He will encourage you along the way. He will give you the power that you need to be transformed if you will receive it. And, of course, partnering with him means you have to receive his grace. You have to receive his grace. You are probably going to mess up in your change process. You're going to be going down the road. You're going to have some relapses. You're going to have some bumps along the way. And when you have those bumps, when you have those down times, you have another choice to make. Will I partner with God going forward from here? Because when we're down, it is easy to be discouraged. It is easy to feel like you're never going to make it and to give up at that point. But partnering with God, allowing him to complete the transformation process inside of us means that you receive his grace. You receive the second chance that is offered by him again and again, his unlimited grace that you receive. You let that grace pick you back up. You let that grace brush you off. And you let that grace push you on your way moving forward. Every single one of these individuals who came up here into the tank and got baptized today have all come to a spot in their lives for the very first time where they accepted the grace of God. You all heard them talk about it. Some say they met Jesus. Some say they received God into their life. Some can point to a specific time like Joe did. And I'm wondering here today, have you ever received the grace of God? The, the really starting point for transformation is starting a relationship with God through what Jesus can offer you. Baptism is a great picture because it shows us that these people have died with Christ and they have been raised again to new life. Have you ever given yourself over to him? Here's how you can do it. First, you have to admit. You have to admit that you've blown it. This should not be hard for any of us in here. You should just simply own up to it and go, you know what? I failed. I've blown it in the past. I've turned my back and lived a life that God didn't want me to live. You have to admit it. Then you have to believe. You have to believe what Jesus did on the cross, he did for you. And when you believe that and you put your trust in that and you walk in that light and towards that direction, when you believe it, that's when change and transformation begins to happen. And then as you heard some of these people even talk about, you commit your life. You don't only admit it, you don't only believe it, but you commit your life to God and you begin to follow after him, partnering with him, allowing him to transform you. And today, you could do that. You could give your life over right now in this crowded room. God sees your heart. It's just you and him having a conversation right now. And you can turn to God and you can say, God, I admit I've blown it. I believe that what Jesus did on the cross, he did for me so that I could be connected with you. 
And today, I'm committing my life, God, to following after you and learning what it means to follow Jesus. A, B, C. Will you just join me as I pray? God, thank you for all these visual examples of life change. Thank you, God, that you are transforming these people from the inside out. Thank you, God, that you are not done with them, but you are going to continue to transform them. You're going to see the transformation through all until they finally meet you. And thank you, God, that you want to partner with us in that transformation, that life change. And God, I just uh, pray for those in here who want to give their lives to you for the first time, that you would give them the courage to do that. And hey, if that's you and you're in the room and you want to do that, why don't you just call out to God right now from right where you're sitting. Just say, Jesus, I admit I've blown it. I realize that what you did on the cross, you did for me. And I give you my life today and I want to follow after you. If you make that move towards God, he's making that move towards you and he's beginning to transform you already inside. God, thank you that you will see that transformation through in these people's lives, in our lives, God, in my life. And God, I pray um, that you will continue to guide our path and direct us and that we will know, we will know that you are with us as we surrender ourselves fully to you. In Jesus' name, amen.